EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchant here with your outlook for October 25th, 2024. It is Friday. It's the end of the work week, and the Friday video forecast is proudly sponsored by McCall Collective Brewing. McCall is a family-owned and operated brewery with two locations in the Lehigh Valley. Their original Southside Allentown location is at 102 East Susquehanna Street, and their second location, McCall Collective Tap House in Trexler Town, is located at 7743 Hamilton Boulevard. Both locations are open seven days a week, have a full food menu at both locations, plenty of beer to choose from for both dine-in or takeout, along with local wine and cocktails. Several events are planned this week with Goth Night on Halloween night at the Susquehanna location and Fire Pit Night the very next night at the Tap House location. For more details about that and all of their upcoming events, including the new beer releases, check out their Facebook page or to place online orders, visit their website, McCallCollectiveBrewing.com. Proud longtime sponsors of the Friday video forecast. So, uh, Doom and Gloom, or yeah, yeah, Doom and Gloom. I guess you can do Doom and Gloom if you're really looking for rain. Uh, we have a long stretch of, uh, uh, of dry weather continuing for the foreseeable future. When I say foreseeable, that means at least through the next week, okay? Because we do seven-day forecasts on a website. This is uh, a cold front coming at us today. There might be a, a stray shower with this as it moves through. I wouldn't get excited about it. NAM does, uh, has this uh, little bit of activity here across our northern tier here. Uh, maybe this evening or overnight you get a stray shower out of that and that's it. Uh, kind of like it was last night. It's probably even less than that in terms of coverage. Or not last night. That was uh, Thursday night. Thursday or Wednesday night, Wednesday night. I'm going to get my day straight here. When you have so many consecutive, mostly sunny days here, it's kind of uh, everything runs together, right? I do the long range that's going to be out today, uh, which is we do every single Friday on the website. It's going to highlight uh, the next period we're watching for rain. It looks like it's going to be during the first week of November, but the extent of that is still unknown, depending on uh, do we have some tropical systems that are, we get some remnants out of that? Uh, will it even develop? We don't even know. There's a lot of, a lot of question marks with that. Uh, something in the Caribbean that may take uh, take aim on Florida, maybe. Uh, there's a lot of shear involved, according to the European model, that does not agree with the development of said, said system. So we'll cross that bridge when we get there, but there are at least some other opportunities for some rain with some frontal passages in the first week of, uh, of November at a minimum. It's not going to be a lot, but there's something there. Uh, so once we get into Saturday, the front uh, is going to go through, the precipitation ahead of the front is just dying off, but the front itself is going to come through later on Saturday. So you have winds pick up 10 to 15 miles per hour, gust 20 to 25 throughout the day here on Saturday as that front moves through. Uh, so another mild day on Saturday. So today is 60 to 67, as you see above me, for the temperature spread. 62 to 68 is the spread in temperatures on Saturday. Uh, with a mix of clouds and sun as that front moves through. And then in its wake, uh, Sunday, Monday, high pressure moves over the region. We're going to have a trough moving into the region as well. So we have cooler temperatures in the upper 50s and near 60 on Sunday. Again, I'm losing days here. Yes, yeah, Sunday. Upper 50s to near 60. And then on Monday, we're looking at either side of 60 degrees with mostly sunny skies continuing. Once we get to Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we're all partly cloudy in that entire stretch. Uh, but we are going to turn warmer. We have this big high that's sitting out here, big high pressure, and that's going to get wind around it in from the southwest, and that's going to get temperatures up here. Again, my mouse is not cooperating today. Uh, but we have temperatures going up considerably on Tuesday. We'll have temperatures in the upper 60s or thereabout. Then we get into the 70s, and then well into the 70s by the time we get to Thursday of next week. This looks like it's going to hang on. Uh, and so we get to about Friday of next week, we'll have a, a cold front come through at that point. This is the first shot maybe uh, on November 1st for, you know, uh, at least get the temperatures back down a little bit. Uh, so not going to be like this. We're, lo we're looking at uh, kind of near average temperatures today or thereabout or very close to it. Then you get slightly above average temperatures on Saturday. Here's that cool shot coming in on Sunday and Monday. And here's the warmth coming in after that. So that ridge next week is going to get some temperatures 10 to 15 degrees above normal. Uh, by the time we get to Wednesday, especially Thursday, I think Thursday's your kind of peak day there. Uh, maybe even Friday yet, too, before that front moves in. And it goes down a little bit after that. And then we finally get another front coming in during that first week of November. It's going to knock temperatures back even further. So we're going to have another long stretch of dry conditions and also warm temperatures coming back in. But before then, we're a lot of roller coaster stuff here. Uh, near average today, slightly above average uh, on Saturday. And then Sunday, Monday are slightly below average. And that turns around considerably when we get into Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of next week. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marcher. That is your outlook for October 25th, 2024. Have a great Friday.